Hello DIY Blind Mats. Welcome back to Glen Point of DIY. And if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. Now today's video is four glam high-end DIYs using mirror, tile, and diamond rhinestone. If that's not interesting to you, stay tuned. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and turn on your post notifications. My white right family for DIY number one, we're taking this Linda vase. I'm using that Biospar Milk Glass Spray Paint. And I actually purchased the paint from Lowe's, this Mirror Mosaic Tile, and this Flower Mesh Rhinestone. We're going to paint this face, you guys. And I did keep in mind that you guys wanted me to let you see how I paint. And I, 99% of the time, paint the inside of my vases. So I'm just going to let you see how I spray it. I will tell you, you can save yourself a lot of trouble by wearing your gloves when you paint as well. Now that my piece is painted, you guys, and dry, we're getting ready to dress up this face. And we're going to start with our mirror mosaic tile. I have already pre-cut my strips, you guys. And this mirror tile, you guys, is actually sponsored by bbcraft.com. I'm dropping bbcraft's information down in my description box. Two, you will always find my affiliate links and my decor accessories. I will be leaving all of those links in the description box no matter what. So you can get you a good deal on some of these decor accessories when you're creating DIYs. But I'm just going to layer on my mirror tile. And here I did use a little bit of glue. So follow me along as we dress up this Lindell vase. And to you guys, if you're working with this mirror tile, please be careful. Um, I know I handle it um, the way I handle it, you guys. I use it a lot. But uh, with any of this mirror tile, you can be cut to high heaven. So please make sure when you're handling anything that will cut you. I would advise if you're a beginner using mirror tile, please put on you some type of light uh, a glove or if not, make sure you actually handle this very tediously so that you don't receive a whole bunch of cuts from the glass or the mirror.
and to you guys please make sure you check out my description for all of the channels of the glam cream blunt brand it'll be listed there also at the end of every video guys you will always see all of our channel banner links so you can know up front what channels belongs to the glam queen brand and i just want to thank each and every one of you for all of your love and support you guys thank you so much for continuing to rock out with your girl thank you so much for continuing to push the videos even during my downtime i really appreciate it a lot you guys thank y'all so so very much And to you guys, um, drop me a comment. We will be bringing um, a live DIY segment here on the channel by the end of April. And we're going to also be doing a live weekly chit chat as well. Drop me a comment if that's something you want to see. And reason being, you guys, we're going to have to switch up the channel a little bit. Because here in my local area, you guys, it's getting harder and harder to find uh, accessories and things to create these DIYs with. Now, we're going to still be bringing you DIYs. We probably may have to change the scale of the DIY we do according to what supply we do have here in my area. But we will still be bringing at least that once a week live DIY and that once a week uh chit chat so drop me a comment if you're interested in it just put it in the comments Here you guys, I'm just still adding that mirror mosaic tile around the neck of this vase. And I actually went for three rows of that mirror tile. And you guys, this milk glass, that Valspar milk glass, it is very beautiful. I do not care what you spread on. It gives you a very, it's a ombre and almost like a mercury glass look as well because it's semi-transparent but this milk glass is beautiful if you are a crafter you ought to consider trying out this Valspar milk glass spray paint
And two family, please don't forget to check out bbcraft.com to snag you some mirror mosaic towel or any accessory of your choice. That is, their information is down in my description box. And two, if you would like to partner with BB Craft as well, I do have that information in my description box as well. You just have to have at least 100 followers to be a uh, sponsored uh, with BB Craft. And if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to Glam Queen of DIY. And for all of my fellow content creators, if you would like to collab with me for this 2022 year, please email me at glamqueenofdiy@gmail.com. Make sure you title the email YT2022 Collab. I will be setting up my collaborations for the remainder of this year, and I do have some open slots. We will still be bringing back that face-off series as well, but email me if you would like to participate with me, and I will be... Uh, I will immediately respond to the email, but I'll be getting back in touch with you by the end of April, letting you know what collab I actually booked you in and giving you the full details. All right, now, once again, if you're watching and this is your first time here and you haven't subscribed to Glam Queen of DIY, hit that subscribe button. Here on the Glam Queen of DIY, we do glam high-end DIYs. We do uh, home decor and a little bit of home renovation. Now, that sounds interesting. This is the channel for you. Please share the channel with your family and friends. All right, now, let's jump right back into this DIY. Now, for this next DIYs, we're taking these Dollar Tree uh, Hurricane glasses and the Dollar Tree Stemless Wine Glass. We're still using the Valspar Milk Glass Spray Paint. I'm using a uh, flat white back uh, off white pearls, this mirror mosaic tile from BB Crail, and also this flower mesh. And the flower mesh is from beadpark.com. Our scissors and our glue, I will be dropping beads, parts, information down in my description box as well. And uh, make sure you do check out BB Craft and Bead Park. My pieces are painted, and I took that flower mesh the way I've done before, and I'm just going to glue my pearls on the inside of this flower mesh, you guys.
I've got my pieces cut. We're gonna add this mirror on and we're gonna dress this up. Now you guys, these uh, pieces I'm making today, they are um, just regular home decor, but you guys, these pieces can be used for wedding decor as well. I do want you to stay tuned uh, on tomorrow. If not tomorrow, at least probably the 15th, you're gonna get my black and white wedding DIY compilation. Please make sure you stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a total of about 25 to 35 pieces and it's featuring the color black and uh, they are actually pieces for wedding. They can also still be used for your everyday wedding decor. So if you want a little bit of high-end home decor inspiration like always, but if you are thinking particularly for some wedding decor or you know someone that planning on getting married soon, please share that video with them. And that video actually should be dropping if we don't drop it tomorrow it will actually be dropped on the 15th so be looking out for that wedding video on tuesday if not tuesday which is tomorrow you guys make sure you check it out on the 15th of april for that wedding inspiration And if you guys really love this mirror uh, tile, like I know you do, I'm getting a lot of requests and email. Y'all want me to keep this mirror season, uh, series going. If you're loving that mirror DIY, you need to get your taste of it. I have created a playlist with this uh, top DIY mirror decor. I'm gonna include that playlist link down in the description box. So for all of you mirror lovers, I have these DIYs and I will be placing them in there for you. So you can just hit that playlist link and watch that playlist to get your feel of these mirror DIYs. I'm going to still continue to dress up this base and you see I'm just lining the lip of this uh, 
stemless wine glass with that mirror tile. And I just like to take my pieces and add more beauty to them, you guys. All DIYs don't have to be overly complicated the way I do do sometimes. That's why I did bring in the series of some very simple and easy DIYs that you can create. And that was actually sparked from a... Uh, one of you followers that said that y'all like to create my DIYs, but some of them just is a tend to be too complicated and you wanted some simple and easy DIYs that can bring elegance and glam to your home. So I do think with these DIYs that I am doing, you will be able to actually replicate them for your space. And to everyone, all of my DIYs that you do see here featured on the Glam Queen of DIY. And if you would like to see these DIY style, you have to go over to the Glam Queen of Decor. That channel link will always be in my description box, you guys. And when it comes to the accessory, you guys, you have to check out that Glam Queen unboxing channel where you'll see where we do purchase everything we get. And also you'll see a lot of items that we do bring in from sponsorship as well. But don't forget to check out that Glam Queen Vlogs and that Fit for a Queen on the Glam Queen Vlogs. The name tells you it all. That will be my vlogging channel. You'll get to see a lot of my everyday life. And that Fit for a Queen will actually is my healthy lifestyle that we are converting fully, fully over to. You can follow us there. So be mindful of all of those links in the description box. And to you guys, I will be featuring family members channels that will be debuting here on the platform. I will be bringing you them and letting you uh, see some of the stuff that my family will be bringing here as well. And as we're bringing this DIY to a close, you guys, this 
vases are gorgeous they're gorgeous 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 to you guys make sure when you're doing these crafts uh i did purchase me a uh a glue gun not a glue gun you guys I, it's a glue gun that melts the glue sticks uh, that will come in handy if you do a lot of hot glue crafts. But look at these vases, you guys. They're very gorgeous. Drop me a comment which DIY was your favorite. And please don't forget to make sure you check out Glam Queen of DIY, Glam Queen of Decor, Glam Queen Unboxing, Glam Queen Vlogs, and Fit for a Queen. Now, if you've been rocking with your girl for a while, you know I can't close out without letting you know to always, always, always be positive so you can remain productive and stay positioned to make your next move your best move i'll see every one of you in another upcoming video bye everyone stay blessed and always stay positive